Oh, hey, they didn't see you there. I was just about to put together a little video outlining my picks for this summer for paintball and airsoft guns. All right, starting off with my paintball picks for this summer. Everybody knows that uh, MagFed has taken a solid foothold in the industry and it's not going anywhere. And in keeping with that tradition, or growing tradition rather, Tipman has given us the TMC. Now we've seen this marker before, but um, I've never really voiced my opinion on it. And this is pretty awesome because this, is, this marker is everything we need for a start out marker. It comes with two magazines, so you're good to play right off the bat. It has the, I don't think there's a word for something that can't be cross-threaded other than saying it can't be cross-threaded. The in-cross-threadable 98 barrel, which is great, uh, but it's also easy enough to upgrade and replace, which is something you probably want to do with uh, an entry-level marker like this. So take a look at, uh, you know, headhunters, freaks, things like that. You have a six position car stock here, which can be replaced by a gas through stock, selector switch, uh, safety here, charging handle up top. And if the mood takes you to shoot more than 19 rounds at a time, you could swap out the, uh, the magazine for the dummy mag with a detent and drop on a hopper adapter and you can run with a, a standard hopper. For those of us who prefer the more traditional way to play with a vertical hopper, we have, I have chosen. I have chosen, and I demanded this color scheme by the way, because this is probably one of my favorite color schemes to ever see. Um, it's shown up periodically throughout, uh, over the years rather, dust gray and polished green. Um, and this, in, in this instance, this is the Axe Pro. Now the Axe Pro is everything that I want the Axe to be. We have a two-piece barrel. We have lever locking V-neck like we always had. We have removable eye covers with the detents here. We have an OLED board in the form of the red line, which is inside the grip here. And oddly enough, the word Axe right here doesn't seem like much, but it's actually very helpful for gaining a grip on this gun. Um, still have quick out the back access here. Uh, a lot of the body fat has been trimmed off from the original Axe. We still have the on-off ASA with the pressure gauge here, so you can spot red creep if you get it, uh, as well as then the very familiar um, inline poppet valve design from Empire, which has been present on the vast majority of their guns over the years. So, one of my favorites, the Axe Pro. Now, we are talking largely about our fa my favorite guns over the season, or for the season. This is one of my favorite guns of all time. This is the Planet Eclipse G-Tech, and it has everything that we've come to expect and love from Planet Eclipse. You know, Def Tech, the eyes, a two-piece barrel with a 689 bore out of the box, ready to go. Very trustworthy and reliable SL4 regulator. We have the self-leveling 45 grip, which means no matter how you hold it, the marker will deliberately level itself. It's strange, but it works and it's amazing. We have the Gamma Core in here, which is the updated version of the Planet Eclipse spool, uh, only smoother and more efficient. Efficient, not efficient. But what really also helps the GTEC stand apart from uh, most other tournament markers is the fact that you can upgrade it. Uh, the option does exist to put an OLED board in here from Planet Eclipse, which is easy enough to drop in. And then you can see more easily than trying to decipher the, uh, the LED blinks, what mode you're in, your rate of fire, things like that. That would sit right in here in this screen. As well as the entire frame itself can be removed and upgraded, uh, depending on how you look at it, it's an upgrade. You can switch this over to a mech frame and turn this into what we call the G-Mech. And so you have no electronics of any kind, single trigger, and it becomes a mechanical marker. So you can play in mech tournaments, it's still good for bush ball, it's still good for just rec play, and you don't have to worry about shooting a ton of paint and or burning through batteries, things like that. So all in all, the G-Tech is actually ranking as not just my favorite gun for the season, but my favorite gun, close to my favorite gun of all time. It's just no DC-2. So there you have it. Um, variety of guns from the, uh, from the paintball world. We have Planet Eclipse G-Tech, we have the Axe Pro, and then we have the Tipman TMC, rounding it out. Well, there you have it. Those are my picks for paintball and airsoft guns for this summer. If you have any questions about any of the gear you saw here, give us a shout, uh, give us an email, uh, get in touch with us over social media, whatever turns you crank. This is Mason from Badlands. I'll see you out there. Hit me.